Hey guys, this is Oxy. Um, I'm going to be showing you how to make a fork bomb today. And basically, a fork bomb is a program um, that, as soon as it's run, will open over 9,000 um, MS DOS command prompts, which will, within at least one minute, turn your computer to dust. And basically, you have to restart your computer. It's not going to do any. Um, damage permanently which is the great thing about it because you can mess with your friends and confuse the hell out of them without totally destroying their computers and being a complete douchebag so here's how we start first you're gonna make a new folder on your desktop right click new folder alright now you're gonna name that something um let's see this is funny so make your friends think that you know you're sending them something funny a funny um, joke or something then you're gonna open the folder alright so as soon as the folder opens you are going to create a new text document in that folder. Name that um, funny joke. Alright, so now you're going to take that thing called funny joke, you're going to open it with WordPad or Notepad actually, we'll do Notepad. Alright, and then you're going to paste in a code and let me see if I can remember the code. Uh, I believe. Let me actually let me find it because I have it somewhere hidden on my computer in here. It's right in here. There we go. Edit. Okay, there's the code. So you're gonna take that code right there, and you're gonna put it right in there. All right. So write that down. Get it. Whatever you need. It's colon colon, and then um, whatever you want to call your file actually. So that right there where it says LOL is going to turn into funny funny joke dot bat start funny joke dot bat. So it has to be the same exact name. Whatever I name this funny joke, it has to be the same name right there. All right. So then you're going to save and exit. Now you're going to rename this funny joke to funny joke dot bat. Not bet, bat. Alright, so that's going to make it an MS-DOS batch file, which means as soon as you click it, it's going to run. Alright, now let's take a look at that code real quick. Basically what it means, funnyjoke.bat is the title of it, and that means start. So as soon as it starts, it's going to start the program, funnyjoke.bat, and then it's going to go back to the start. So basically as soon as you start this, it's going to start another one of the same program, and then it's going to go back to the start and start another one. So you're going to have this starting one over and over, and then every single one that it starts is going to be starting one over and over and over, until your computer gets so many processes that it can't handle it. Alright, so now if you send that to somebody, they're going to see, well that's an MS-DOS file, not whatever you told them you were sending them, a joke or a story or whatever you were going to send them. So here's what you're going to do. You're going to first create a shortcut of this. You're going to rename this whatever you want. F funny joke. Okay? So now it's just named funny joke. It's not funny joke dot bat. But also it's still got this right here. That does not look like a text file or a picture or whatever you're deciding to send them. You're going to go to properties. You're going to change your icon. Ignore that. And you're going to change it to, let's see here, what do we want to change it to? Let's see, let's tell them that we're sending them... Hmm. Alright, let's let's just go with a text document. So we're telling them we're sending them a, uh, some, a, some sort of text document. Oh, I guess a funny joke. Alright, so now this is still here. How are they going to know... Well, first of all, how are they going to know that this is the one you want them to click? Second of all, they're going to see that and they're going to go, Oh, well, this is BS. What you're going to do is you're going to take this, hit properties, hit hidden, okay? Now, it's faded out so it says it's hidden but now you gotta go to folder options view and right here see where it says do not show I know it's already selected but for some reason Windows decides to select that and not make it count just another point proving that Microsoft sucks anyway you have to actually go in change it to that and then apply it as that alright so now it's gone now the hidden file is still there just gone so now you've got a shortcut to that MS-DOS file as this one that looks like a text file. Alright, so now you're going to take that and you have to make this a file that you can send to people. So you're going to add to archive. Alright, you need to use you know either 7-zip or WinRAR. I'm using WinRAR right now. You're going to take this right here and you're going to hit OK. It's going to make you an archive. Um, so hopefully you all know how to make an archive. You just hit add to archive and then hit OK. It makes your archive. 
if you're using WinRAR. 7-zip's a little bit different. I think there's a 7-zip thing here, and then off to the side it'll say extract to archive. Anyway, there's your archive right there. That's got your files inside of it. Now you're going to go to a great website called toshared.com, right up there, all right? You're going to find the file on your desktop. Where is it? See, there it is. All right. You're going to upload it. And this does take a minute to upload. So um, while I'm uploading it, I'll go into Gmail and I'll start making a message that I'm going to send to my friend. So uh, right now, I'm just going to send it to myself because this way I don't have to deal with any of... I can actually show you the um, email that I'm getting and I don't have to deal with the crap of my friend yelling at me for totally fucking with their computer. Alright, so subject, check out this hilarious joke. I'm going to say check this out. Alright, then I'm going to say just download this file, extract it, and open. Great, classic, gotta see it. So, hopefully by now your friend will have wanted to um, see your file after you tell them so much amazing things about it. Then it's going to give you your upload complete on TwoShared. You're going to take that and copy it right over into here, alright? So, they're going to have this email sent to them by you. So now, they're going to get an email. Alright. Oh, look. Got an email. Check out this hilarious joke. Just download the file, extract it, and open it. Gotta see it. Great, classic, whatever. So they click on it. I'm gonna bring them here. They're gonna download the file. Alright. Save file to your PC. Click here. Alright, let's wait for this. So they're gonna download the file real quick, and then after they download it, actually, it doesn't even matter because I have it right here. They're gonna get this. Okay, so they're going to click on that. They are going to extract files. And I'll just send them to a folder called This Is Funny on My Desktop, which would be this folder right here that we already have. They're going to open this folder. And it's going to give them, well, that's the one that I extracted into. So this is what they're going to get. Oh, it just shows this one right here, but check this out. If you show the hidden files, the real fork bomb is right there. Then they're going to click on that, and it's going to fork bomb their computer. Now, I can't show you what a fork bomb is because I'm trying to record this video, and if I fork bomb myself, then it'll make me shut off my computer. I won't even be able to save the video. So, um, if you want to, after you make a fork bomb, you're welcome to click on it yourself, open it, and see what it does to your computer before you send it to your friends. And then you just have to restart your computer. Not a big deal. But um, you're welcome to do that if you want to see what a fork bomb really looks like. So um, now you know how to fork bomb your computer. All right. This is Oxymoron Fork Bomb Tutorial. Thanks for watching.